In southeast Nebraska, there's a small town that is home to one of the most influential illustrators of all time. That town is Falls City, and that artist is John Philip Falter. John Philip Falter was a native Nebraskan. He was born in Plattsmouth in 1910, but his family moved to Falls City in 1916 and went on to become a renowned illustrator, most widely known for his Saturday Evening Post covers. John Philip Falter started out wanting to be a cartoonist, but was told he was a natural illustrator. At that point, he began creating a prolific body of work that captured the essence of American life, always keeping his Nebraska roots at the back of his mind. He loved this state so much, and he was a huge Husker fan too. And, it's, and he puts a lot of Midwest in his covers and in his art. Residents of Fall City wanted to honor the contributions that John Philip Falter had made to the state of Nebraska and the entire country. So they banded together and worked to make the museum a reality. Over the years, John died in 1982. So over the years, people around here who were fans did a tribute to him yearly. And they put out his covers and other things that they had and, and any originals somebody might have. When he passed away, his widow donated much of his art and his Philadelphia studio to the Nebraska State Historical Museum in Lincoln. The John Philip Falter Museum is a part of the Nebraska Tourism Passport Program this year. So stop in, get your passport stamp, and see the stamp that John Philip Falter left on the world. The Saturday Evening Post is back to bring you the second installment in our fall cover gallery series. Artist John Falter created over 5,000 illustrations in his lifetime. Recently, one of Falter's original illustrations for the Saturday Evening Post sold for $250,000. In 1943, his work was published on the cover of the Saturday Evening Post for the very first time. George Falter told his artistically inclined son that you won't be an artist until you put a cover on the Saturday Evening Post. Falter became one of the youngest artists ever to regularly contribute covers to the magazine, maintaining a 28-year relationship with the Post. Falter would go on to create 129 illustrations for the magazine during his career. Did you know that a Nebraska native painted over 120 covers for one of the most famous magazines in the United States? John Falter was born in Plattsmouth, Nebraska and raised in Falls City. As a high school student, he created a comic strip that was published in the Falls City Journal and decided to become an illustrator. Falter studied in Kansas City and opened a studio in New York. His big break came in 1943 